Hey YouTube family, this is Francie with Finding Joy. So it is Sunday, so I got up and went to church this morning. And then on my way home, I went to this Asian bowl, rice bowl place. I had tried to go there before, but because of the virus, they um, were only like taking walking. I mean, like you had to order and I didn't know their menu. And anyway, I never went. So I decided to try them out today. So, um, this is, I, I don't know if that's teriyaki or soy sauce. I asked, oh, that's teriyaki and there's some soy sauce. So I got the rice bowl, which I think is this one. Boy, that is a lot of food. That is a lot. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to eat it. You know how Chinese, or I don't know what type of food this is. But um, I got the orange chicken with some rice and peas and carrots. So that looks really good. So that's what I'm going to eat right now. The one thing I like about getting Chinese food is that it stays warm. So I don't have to eat there. And then I went ahead and got some fried rice, uh, chicken fried rice. And I asked if they could take the onions out. And he said yes. And I thought, that is amazing. I love you. Love this place because I don't like onions, but I do like fried rice. And I like lo mein, they put onions in that too. But this is gonna be what I eat on for the week. Um, hopefully a couple meals on this. I know I can make my own rice, I know. But sometimes it's nice to do this. So I'm excited. So I got this for the week and so I'm just gonna come home and I'll throw this in the microwave and I'll be ready to eat. It'll be quick. And I find that if something is really quick and I can get it quick, I'm less likely to pick up something out to eat because I know when I come home, it's just here and ready for me. If I have to come home and make something um, that's gonna take a while, yeah, I'm not too into that. So sometimes I'll make rice on Sundays, so I'll have it through the week. But today I treated myself and I got this. So it'll probably be, I know at least two meals. I'm wondering if I might be able to do pull three meals out of it. But it's got chicken and egg in it and vegetables. The only thing I might do is add more vegetables, but everything is there. All right, so I'm going to enjoy this and then I'll come back and talk to you a little bit about some things I've been creating. Okay, so I ate about half, maybe over half of that. I don't know, but it's definitely enough for tonight. So I'll eat that for dinner too. Um, I'm not, you know, orange chicken is okay. That's what it was. I don't, <clears throat> I'm not a fan of dark meat. And so with a Chinese food, there's not very much just white chicken. They do a lot of the dark chicken when they make their things. Like the bourbon chicken, that, the flavor is really good, but it's all dark meat and I'm just not, I don't know. To me, dark meat, it has like a gamey taste or something. I don't know. I just don't like it very much. But um, anyway, I will eat this for dinner. So that's two meals from this. And look at this, it's a wonderful container. So not only did I get a meal, but I now have this wonderful container that will store leftovers or whatever, I will keep it. Um, if I ever do decide to throw it away, it will go to recycle, it will not go in the trash. So then I have this, I'm just letting it cool down a little bit so <coughs> use less energy in the refrigerator. And, um, I'll have that and I think next time you know I don't know I may just get two of these because I, you know I like rice I think I, I could eat it every day for a while and um, and just eat the fried rice I don't need to have because I did get chicken in here and I believe it's um, they do like a grilled white meat chicken so I will probably just get fried rice next time Another reason I'm doing this, my daughter does not like this type of food. And so when she's with me, um, we can't go out. Well, we don't. I'm not going to go somewhere that she doesn't like. That doesn't make sense. It'd be like me going somewhere I don't like. So, um, And I like a lot of restaurants, so that's no big deal to me. But since she's not with me now, and I probably should have started this a long time ago, um, this is something I can do on Sundays for sure when she's not with me. And it's going to give me my food for the week and make this week very easy. My kitchen will stay cleaned. And then I have more time for crafting, right? Okay. Talk to y'all later. Hey, YouTube family. All right, I want to finish this video out. So I thought I would share with you some things I've been working on this week. And then I've got to write a biology test on the cell. So 
um, that's what I got to finish tonight before tomorrow. Like I said, one day at a time. I'm always just one day ahead with my um, teaching. Um, for one thing, I don't know how long it's going to take to run through something, and I just need to, um, you know, of course, a test I know is just going to take one. And I know where we're going after that. I just don't know what activity we're going to use. So, um, today's been a good day. I've been um, crocheting a little bit, working on what I'm going to show you in a minute to try to figure out how to end it. I really wanted to make those bags. I showed you placemats a couple of videos ago that I got at Goodwill. And I wanted to make those into a bag, but I need some ribbon or something that you put on the inside so you can hold it to zip it. That's the kind I'm going to make. So that kind of puts it off for a little bit. So probably this weekend I will go and get some ribbon. Um, I think mostly black. I just need some black ribbon and try to get those going. And um, I think, I hope they turn out good. They look really cool on um, a YouTube video. But let me show you what I've made. Um, I think I've mentioned making dream catchers before, so I made one. This was the first one I did. And disappointing because I had bought these rings at, um, I think, Hobby Lobby. And this was too big for it. And the YouTube video, she used a six inch ring. And these, I think, are five. So this is the six inch ring, and it just fits but I don't think you would want to have a lot of room outside of it so it, I think it looks good and um, I really like it now to make it amazing I need to like dangle things off of it and then put a thing on top so I'm not sure where I'm gonna go with that I don't have any feathers so probably when I go get that ribbon I need to do the placemats I will pick up some feathers because I think the feathers look really cool when you hang them uh, ribbon will be expensive if I try to do a bunch of ribbon on the bottom That will be expensive. I've thought about some beads and I'm not sure I had I, so I went through and had got what I had and I had these beads which were kind of similar to the color of um, What I did, but I don't know how they would look hanging down I kind of crocheted them together and I didn't want them to be too long because then it's just a tangled mess. Um, once you get it too long, I think they would tangle up. So I don't know if you can see that. And then they twist too. So I don't know what that would look like with bees, bees hanging out. I would cut the string so it wouldn't be there. Um, there's that, or I could add a feather with the beads too. So I'm just trying to decide what to do. So there's this one. And I really like it. I think it's cool. And I really, I had to order these gold ones on Amazon. One day delivery. So that was amazing. Um, I love how these turned out. And I, don't, like I said, I don't even know what I'm going to do with it. Um, I'll probably give it away as a Christmas gift or something. And then this was some purple thread I had. I really like this. It's really pretty too. Um, this is a little bit different than the yarn. It's, um, I don't know but it was more of the size that the person in the video was using but it still it almost came out a little bit bigger than the green one so it barely fits in here too but it did fit so i went ahead and used this um, i've debated getting a larger circle but i don't know yet so i had showed you some yarn i got at the goodwill store no not goodwill I did show you that, but not this um, Dollar Tree. So I made one with Dollar Tree yarn, and I think it looks okay. It's not as, um, it's it's dull, and it's harder to crochet with, so I think it would be really good for my scrubbies, but I really wanted to compare it to a cotton. You know, so this is the one from the Dollar Tree, and this is the one from Walmart, I think. It's premier cotton so um, but I think even with this it won't fit in these it's just a little too big so I'm gonna have to get a bigger one but I think even put into a dream catcher and I add feathers and beads I still think it's going to be pretty and so you never know pretty there's still I still debate having a flea market booth I need to check 
We do have a flea market that's right down the street from me. There's indoor, but I notice on Saturdays people set up outside. So I need to get more information about that. I don't want it to be where I'd have to set up every weekend. I want it to be where, um, you know, maybe one week in a month and um, set up with, you know, this stuff that I make and maybe some other stuff that I get on sale or something and see where that goes. I don't know. I'm always busy doing something. I really like these. Huh? And here's the purple one again. Let me know what y'all think and what do you think I should dangle from them? Feathers is the big thing. So I don't know. Okay, I wish I'd gotten this made before the video. I might make it tonight because I just want to see what it looks like. But see this color? Love it. So I'm going to crochet one in this color and because I have a whole package. Look at all these. Whole package of them. <laughs> so I definitely want to make all of these and figure out what I'm going to hang from them, whether it's just like three feathers um, and then put something on top to hang it and there we go. Um, they don't take too long to make. Like I can have this one made tonight while I'm watching TV. I got to watch somebody's live stream tonight, Box, Box Fan D. Um, wonderful lady I really like her and then I also had I had some beads that I had made a long time ago see these beads I made these out of um, paper and then I put stuff over them I've got some more and you know I'd make these things I like to create but then what do you do with them you know so I haven't figured out what to do with these I know people make bracelets and stuff and actually these beads right here go with these really well and actually the green ones oops I think they match the green ones too so I could make like stretchy bracelets maybe with them on there I don't know and then I thought maybe I could use them for the dream catchers so I didn't know I did try I did string them on there with the the beads I had these right here and it just didn't look right so that didn't work. Then I also have these little arrowheads charms. Aren't those cute? I love arrowheads. I love the Indian decor. And I, you know, I wish I was in part Indian because I think that would be really cool. Because I've always loved native stuff. Even when growing up and I would go to crafts and stuff, I always wanted to macrame and make the the native crafts that they would have I don't know I've always had a calling for it and I have a calling for nature and I know I'm not Indian at all I'm Scottish and Irish and German stuff <laughs> so yeah but these are really pretty so I have those I could add to somehow I don't know maybe I don't know just ideas going through my head so that's kind of what I've made this week you know then working of course and that's it I've got projects going that I need to finish and work on and but like I said I'll probably make this why because I want to see what it looks like um because that's just it is. so you know my channel is about finding joy and so this brings me joy and I do spend a lot of time on it like today really this is all I was working on is craft stuff going through my craft stuff and finding stuff and I did run out to um, Dollar General and I'm not sure uh, I don't know if I should share with you guys what I found out this week it is crazy it is absolutely insane and um, one of my subscribers told me about this idea with Dollar General and I don't know if you all have heard it before but well I gotta tell you now don't I <laughs> once you start talking about it because I know when I watch YouTube people and they say something and they don't tell me I am very upset so I'll tell you um, evidently with Dollar General when they mark things down you know they put them in their clearance but there comes a point where the clearance is supposed to be taken off they want the manager to take it off the, the floor and at that point it's like down to one penny and so the managers are supposed to take it off the floor so it's not available to customers well guess what it doesn't always get taken off the floor and so um, if you're I don't know what I don't know if you would say lucky or 
Um, you got to do some research. Um, I watched some YouTube videos, talked to the subscriber who told me this idea. And so this week I've gone out to some Dollar Generals and today I went out in a while. Um, found some stuff. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it right now because I don't need stuff. <laughs> I don't need stuff. I did find, um, oh, we're at 10 minutes. Ah, I got to cut this. I did find a couple things I'm going to give to my niece and, you know, two cents. So I've got something for Christmas or even just to send her just because for fun, you know. And so I haven't decided. Um, some people donate. Some people have garage sales. I don't think selling on eBay would be good because of the postage that you just I mean true you only bought it for a penny <laughs> but the postage is so much and I don't know that I want to hassle with that unless we were to go into lockdown then maybe I would um, so garage sales you know people have garage sales and make money that way and a lot of people donate the items and um, if I were to it, it just depends um, I've thought about donating as well and I've also thought about having a booth at a flea market and um, using the money for travel expenses or, you know, to pay my debt, get my debt paid down and just use this idea to um, donate some stuff. And um, especially if I were able to get a, a lot of clothes and, um, you know, even selling even if you sold them for a dollar though people are getting a good deal you go to the flea market and sell it for a dollar the shirts or you know socks now socks and stuff i think i would donate it because people homeless people need socks and um so i don't even know i and i, I even prayed today and i said i don't even know what's going to happen i'm just going to put this stuff up in storage and just do it because it's really fun and it's really cool <laughs> to get stuff for a penny and um, I'm just going to see where God leads me on that. Just kind of keep an open mind. So I got to shut this down. My phone's dying and I got to write a test on the cell for biology. And one of my subscribers is coming on live pretty soon. I think it's seven my time. So anyway, y'all be blessed this week and find joy. Let me know what you did this week to find joy. Oh, and let me know what you think about these dream catchers. I'll show them to you when I really get them finished, but that probably won't be until I get some feathers. So anyway, um, I love to read your comments. And thank you for watching. Thank you so much for watching and following me on my journey through life. And um, hopefully I'm going to get out there on the road. I'm really thinking about doing a trip in the summer. I'd really like to go to the Upper Peninsula in Michigan. But it would be a, at least two weeks. But I'm thinking maybe a month. Could I do a month? I don't know. I'm trying to get my daughter to go with me. I don't know. But I need to have some flea markets <laughs> to make some money to finance it. So anyway, and get a van. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, um, y'all be blessed. Again, again, be blessed because I want you to. I want you to find joy. I want you to find happiness. And... Um, I will talk to you all in the next video.